As the long holiday weekend wraps up, health care experts reminding us all that COVID-19 is still here. Thanks for joining us. I'm Madeline McLean. With millions traveling for Labor Day, including the unvaccinated students heading back to class tomorrow morning, doctors say now is not the time to let up on COVID-19 safety protocols. Here's KQ2's Kylie Thomas with more. As families return home to their normal routines after the long holiday weekend, health experts say COVID-19 precautions should stay top of mind. I think actually the rules of infection control are more important today than they were a year ago. Before Labor Day weekend, the CDC director advising unvaccinated Americans to stay home. But according to the TSA, a staycation was not the plan for 3.5 million people screened Friday and Saturday. As students return to the classroom from vacation, health officials just tell going back to the basics to keep kids safely learning in school. In a written statement, Peacock Pediatrics writing students should continue to social distance, wear a mask, wash your hands, get vaccinated if you're eligible, stay home and get tested if you are sick or exposed. You know the drill. And health officials at the University of Kansas Health Systems agree. We know masking is probably the most important, the staying home if you're sick, the great hand hygiene practices in those settings. This comes on the heels of the Savannah R3 School District and both South Nottoway schools beefing up their mask mandates after the holiday weekend. Savannah requiring its middle schoolers and staff members to mask up due to a growing number of quarantines. And for Nottoway, the district says it will begin a 10-day temporary mask mandate when kids return to prevent any future absences. After a quarter of their total population was absent last Wednesday because of quarantines or illnesses. There are some schools that have had to shut down. There are some classrooms that have had to quarantine and shut down over the last couple weeks. So um, I think it's important for those kids to be in school because we've heard how important it is for those kids not to be isolated. The reality is the reality. If you want to get this under control and reduce the burden on each other and reduce the risk of disease transmission, you have to mask. Reporting in St. Joseph, Kylie Thomas, KQ2 News. According to Savannah's district COVID-19 dashboard, there are only eight active cases in secondary schools. But the number of students quarantined is, is a growing concern. Per district policy, masks will be required if a campus has more than 8% of students absent due to quarantine, regardless of vaccination status. Face coverings will be required at the middle school until the quarantine rate falls below 8% consistently for at least two weeks.